thank you for joining superior profit monday morning meet where we do live 360 degrees analysis of stocks in different countries mostly in the usa market but sometimes of other countries as well before we begin we go through the standard disclaimer this demonstration is for educational purposes only it is designed to share information on superior profits trading system the information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. We'll use live systems to demonstrate different ways of using Q systems and we'll be happy to take any question or look at stocks that you are looking at. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. Let us look at some of the global markets. We'll use Metastock for that. And you can see in preparation for today's session, I have run a number of scans q scans on meta stock i am running all the possible trade setup finding scans like breakout down up bounce box and go with flow and headwind both for long side and short side i will come back to the result later i can move it to a different monitor and let us look at the global market starting with australia because we are looking at broad market i'm going to remove the relative performance line overall australian market as seen from axjo is in downtrend the weekly candle color is yellow today is monday this is only one day of the week price went up in the daily it is in downtrend this is not the location where we would like to take any short trade and we will not take any long trade also. What about China market? CSI 300. Weekly in downtrend, though the candle color has turned bullish. We may look for buying opportunities only after this memory resistance lines are broken. In the daily, it is inside a triangle pattern. Before buying, we will wait for the triangle pattern to be broken. Hong Kong dot HSI Hang Seng Index. Weekly is in downtrend. There is a memory resistance. Again, we will wait for the memory resistance to be broken before buying stocks. Daily has a triangle pattern. We will wait for price to break out of the triangle upward before buying stocks. Last one, last two we may look at. One is India, Nifty index dot N S E I. This is stronger relative to the others. It came close to the watermark support and went up from there. The weekly backdrop candle color is bullish. In the daily chart today, price opened above the memory resistance and closed higher as well. because it has cleared the memory resistance in the India market, one could start looking for buying opportunities today. Last one, let us look at the UK index. In the weekly, it is in downtrend. There was a bullish headwind signal in the weekly chart one week ago. The candle was of indecisive shape. 
this week monday price fell a little bit market may still be open in the uk we are not going to take any long trade looking at this index so we looked at australia hong kong china india and uk the only market that is in a situation that allows us to look for buying stocks is the india market i submitted the video in the youtube channel for the weekly market roundup and i analyzed the usa market in that video and we saw in the usa market also we don't have a situation where we can start to buy stocks that opportunity may come may not come but it hasn't come yet that was a review of the world markets one interesting thing that came to my notice is the stock jnj johnson and johnson it had a negative news related to the telecom powder trial and on friday it sold off it opened just above the memory support line there were multiple memory support lines but broke down heavily through at least three of them maybe more than three of them it is a very bearish shape candle option volatility was very high what was of interest to me i observed that both the daily as well as the weekly gave the bearish headwind signal a few days ago or a few weeks ago in the weekly chart as is our guideline whenever the bearish headwind comes at minimum we protect profit in any long position in this case it came in both weekly and daily chart that to lead us to look at the stock from 360 degrees angles that is we would like to look up its fundamentals do a pr analysis and check its industry strength also let's look at that now using cube vital we can analyze fundamentals and pr analysis for any global stock we can enter jnj as the root stock press enter it will do multiple passes first it will find basic information about the stock then it will find the pr stocks and in the third pass it will calculate vital statistics of all the pr's it has completed that let's look at the pr stocks jnj valuation is medium because the valuation color is yellow we know from the color valuation is in the middle neither overvalued nor optimally valued if we look at the yearly earnings growth it is not fantastic not green not negative it is yellow for 3 years 2 years as well as one year period and if we look at the quarterly periods in the latest quarter it went down didn't turn negative but went down fundamentally overall we can say that it is in the middle not strong not that weak also pays a small dividend not very high again in the middle 2.7 percent it was in the middle in terms of fundamentals it's in pharmaceuticals industry how is the industry we can know that from q edge pharmaceuticals industry is in healthcare sector the sector is weak now this is the latest data as of friday's market close using qh we can look at sector industry rotation in real time the real time changes will be reflected under one day column that is the latest day current day healthcare as an in healthcare as a sector is weak it was cyan stronger earlier and now clearly weak let's drill down into the industries pharmaceuticals was stronger earlier now more magenta therefore it is also weakening what is then the outcome of the 360 degrees analysis technically we had bearish headwind possible reversal signal but there was no short trade setup 
there were memory support lines as well. So we were not going to take any short trade, but we would be cautious if we had any long trade. That was the decision from the technical analysis. From fundamental analysis, it was medium valuation, medium growth. So we are neutral regarding taking long or short from the fundamental side, industry side, it was weak. So combining everything, we were not going to buy the stock for sure because there were headwind signals in weekly and daily and because the industry was weak. Now what to do? Let's go to trade station and check out the option volatility. J and J. Tristration is a brokerage platform. Therefore, they have detailed options data and we can use the option chart template to look at option volatility. I can use the hotkey to change the template in the daily chart. From the color coding of this chart template, every chart template is used for a specific purpose. This chart template is used for options trading. Here the candle color represents options price or volatility, implied volatility level, percentile level, you can say. If it is green or cyan, then options are very highly priced. As of Friday's close, options are very expensive. If it is very expensive, we are not going to buy any put option. Can somebody sell put option? If somebody is bullish, somebody could probably sell put option. However, there is no swing trade setup. It dropped a lot on Friday. It is at a watermark support level in the daily chart. Price closed above that on Friday. If price starts to go up from here, closes higher, then that will give a bounce long trade setup because this drop was sudden and sharp. It hit a deep watermark level. If today it closes above the watermark level, and above previous days close, then technically we'll have a bounce long trade setup. One could wait for the end of the day to see if it is getting confirmed or using fine tune real time chart. One may switch to the fine tune chart 10 minute or maybe five minute interval. If it is being used in the morning session, then it is better to use more granular data, five minutes interval. Today also this early range, high early range low will form. If price starts to go above early range high of today and the early range is narrow, then one might consider taking a short put vertical. The short leg may be put just below early range low. While doing that, one may keep an eye on the futures. Overall, the USA market is not very strong. It is range bound. If we look at the indices, as I shared in the weekly market roundup also, the indices are range bound, but internally it is very weak. The small cap stocks are falling sharply, market breadth is weak. So if you are taking any kind of long position in non-defensive sector, then you may keep an eye on the futures also to see how they are acting. JNJ, by the way, can be considered as a defensive sector stock. So we are allowed to look for buying opportunity in JNJ when the industry is weak. If the stock goes up, one may try to take a long position using short put vertical. That would be very profitable if the stock goes up because the volatility will go down and the position will profit not only from price move, but also from volatility crash. What was of interest to Q traders is to see that the bearish headwind in both weekly and daily warned of the possible drop in JNJ, like it does in so many other cases. Let's look at the result of the Q sonar scans. I ran all the Q scans that we use to look for possible trade setups. 
these are not looking for indicator values indicators crossing thresholds these are looking for actual trade setups we will finally look at the technical charts to confirm that the setup is there we also have to look for acceptable reward risk ratio from the chart and because we want to do 360 degrees analysis before buying we would like to confirm that the stock is fundamentally strong in some ways it may be either optimally valued or having earnings growth or maybe paying high dividend in some way fundamentally it has to be strong and industry should be strong as well that is for long position and vice versa for the short position i ran all these scans on the same list of stocks i think s p 500 and if you see the result breakout downside the result is 202 whereas breakout upside is only 14. it's more than 10 times breaking downside than breaking upside breaking down is much more that is also showing the weakness of the market long possible bounds we have to look at the chart is five and short bounce is more 12. go with flow long possible 26 short 363 very lopsided to the bearish side interestingly q memory touch up meaning touching memory support line is more than touching memory resistance line that is expected because the market was declining if the market is declining we don't expect many stocks to go up against the market and hit memory resistance so this is not saying that the market is bullish it is just saying that market has dropped enough and it is hitting memory support for some stocks and again we expect that in a down market not many stocks will go up and hit resistance memory so these numbers are not saying it is bullish it is saying that market has dropped what about sideways market possible long that is box set up eight on the long side short side five so about the same long side little bit more these stocks are moving sideways we may look at some of the long box trades and finally headwind long headwind 12 short headwind seven headwind signals are very important we always keep an eye on them if bullish headwinds are coming we at least protect profit in short position we may look at the headwind signals as well on the long as well as short size they give us very profitable trading opportunities sometimes lets us catch the very top or bottom let's start with breakout down market is bearish and let's see two things if the stocks are breaking down first thing we will do is protect profit in any log existing long position and if there is a low risk entry opportunity we look for shorts there are many stocks instead of looking at 202 stocks what i may try to do is get the stocks from here from the scan and look for fundamentally weak stocks so that will reduce the list size so i'm going to paste the symbols take them and instead of using the root stock now i'm going to go to peer list select it properly i'm going to go to the peer list and paste the list manually here under this column the moment i drop the list it starts to retrieve data and calculate vital statistics it has done that 202 stocks here we are going to look for weak stocks because they are breaking down support 
one way we can find them is to filter by color under valuation to look for overvalued stocks. We have 64 stocks. Some of them has improving earnings growth. Let us look for stocks that are having negative earnings growth. Let's even look for, okay, let's look for negative. I will not filter by color, choose bright red or dark red. Simply I will use number filter. Earnings growth should be less than zero in the latest quarter. So we have these many stocks. Now let us look at them through Q charts. We could look at them through Q Elite or Q Global. It is set to Q Elite. Let me use Q Elite. Delete this. I am dropping the symbols into radar. And then we look at the charts one by one. AKR in real estate sector. Toppling over in both weekly and daily, however, near memory support lines, both in weekly and daily. Also white direction line is nearby. Real estate is relatively stronger than other sectors right now. Let's not try to short this. There are support lines also. Next. IRDM. communication services. Interestingly, weekly displayed bearish headwind here, price fell back from there, tried to recover, retest the same price level, created a false upside breakout. It in fact just went above the watermark resistance created by the first bullish, created by the first bearish headwind and then reversed. That was a false downside breakout. What am I saying? That was a false upside breakout, which happened in the daily chart on this candle. In fact, this candle gave us a box short trade setup. We would take it with more confidence because we had bearish headwind at the same level in the weekly chart several weeks ago. That trade is already profitable. Now the stock has come down, tried to go up and it has come down again on Friday. Friday went down by 6.7%, large percentage. Very bearish shape and color candle on Friday. Last week's candle is also bearish. Certainly, we would not like to hold a long position in this stock. There is a memory support nearby. One may not take a short trade using daily charts because of that. How far? If you are looking at its weakness, you may be fine to look at the fine tune intraday chart and try to short it using five minutes interval chart, fine tune template that it will allow you to put very narrow stop. This can be a possible short candidate, but let's see if there is another better candidate from this list. MBFI. This has already broken below memory support in the daily. That's why the memory support is not showing. If we change the template, then we can see the support line that was broken. Control Alt Shift L. I'm using hotkeys. And here was the memory support that was broken. So it has broken below memory support in daily in weekly that memory support is still there. It has broken below that. It is already far from the recent high. So stop will be very far. We are not going to short using daily chart. The stock is very weak. At minimum, if you are holding long position, you will be careful. Probably you will exit the position. If you were using the Q systems, you would probably exit long time ago <laughs> because it was going down and tried to recover, came down again. You are already out. There is no short setup now because it is far from recent high. Next stock, MXL. This looks more interesting. 
in the weekly last week's candle was very shape color that is two weeks ago and previous week also it was very shape and color in the daily it created a false upside breakout here came down tried to recover and last week fell down again on thursday and friday friday cleared the memory support level friday ended with a bearish color and bearish shape candle we had the magenta color candle on thursday however at that time price was just above the memory support line therefore we were not going to take a shot on thursday on friday it was probably possible to take a shot using fine tune chart but not using daily chart on thursday now the chart is bearish it has cleared the support level if it continues to go down it is possible to take a short trade here trying to book profit initial profit near the lower boundary and setting stop just above recent high so far out of these stocks mxl looks more ready to take a short trade let's look at the last stock tbk this is also bearish daily has broken below the memory support weekly is bearish in shape and color there is no low risk stop level for this stock using daily chart therefore we are not going to short it using daily interval again using fine tune chart it is possible to short it it is a banking stock so we found mxl as the stock that is giving us low risk short opportunity we have already seen its fundamentals check it out again mxl its overvalued stock with negative earnings growth for two successive quarters over the yearly period also the earnings growth was negative so this is a stock will be happy to short from the fundamental side technically we are happy to short it it gives us a low risk short opportunity you can say it is a go with flow trend following short opportunity we didn't take it on thursday because the memory support line was just below price now we are able to take it price didn't drop much therefore our profit potential didn't erode much and our risk didn't go up it is still okay to try to short it last step we would like to carry out before actually shorting a stock like this is to check its industry let's look at mxl's industry semiconductors how is the semiconductors industry doing we can find out from q edge let's filter for semiconductors semiconductors it was stronger earlier more cyan over five days ten days one month period than over two days and one day period if we open the base column we get more insight that it is decelerating over two days as well as over friday it is decelerating one of the most decelerating industries therefore the industry tells us that we are allowed to short a stock in this industry not buy it the technical still that it is okay to short we have a low risk entry and the fundamentals say it is okay to short fundamentals are poor this is how we carry out bottom up analysis starting with sonar scans but still carry out the 360 degrees analysis looking at fundamentals and industry as well so we found one opportunity from the breakout down for the breakout upside we have 14 stocks but the market is not ready to not showing signs of bullishness so let's not look at them breakouts are more prone to fail under the current market situation instead let us look at some of the stocks that are hitting memory support memory touch up 91 stocks 
let me look at their fundamentals again. I'm going to paste the list in the manual list. Copy here, paste. It is retrieving the data about these 86 stocks. It has calculated vital statistics. If we are looking for buying opportunities as we should do for these stocks, they are coming up from memory support like ALLE. Let's look at ALLE using technical charts. ALLE dot K. It is touching the memory support. Of course, here we can see immediately that though it is touching the memory support, it is not bullish, neither in daily and weekly. We have to go through the stocks to see if there is a possible bounce opportunity. If it is hitting memory support going up, there may be a bounce opportunity. Before I look at the technical charts, let me try to find the fundamentally stronger stocks from this list. And because the stocks are hitting memory support, probably they have drop, dropped somewhat. So let's look for value stocks. This is the list of value stocks. Let me look at them. I am going to put them in trade station radar. Okay, I didn't get all the symbols. I have to select them and click the chart button and paste the symbols here. If I'm using Q Global on Metastock, I could open the charts directly from Q Edge. Now let's see if there is a bounce long opportunity or possible opportunity coming today or maybe tomorrow. For that, for a bounce long opportunity, we need price to drop sharply and suddenly hit a pre-existing support line which can be memory support like we have here and then go up. Here, it didn't drop suddenly and sharply. So the bounce setup doesn't apply. Let's move to next stock, CDR. It is inside triangle. Skip, next stock, NTA. It didn't have a sudden drop also. Next stop, next stop, FAF. Not a sudden drop. Next stop, GEO. Not a sudden drop. Let me quickly go through them. IBM, no. KEY, no. M A N H no N C L H no not a sudden drop again P E N N not a sudden drop R H I no S B R A no S Y M C No, TDC, no, BSI, BSI. This had a very rapid drop. If it goes up from here, we may think of taking a bounce long opportunity. It is in grocery industry. We'll check out the industry from QH. Let's look at the last talk before checking out VSI from QH, that is ZBH. No, one thing you might have noticed, 
when I was going through these stocks, their charts in the daily chart, many of them are moving sideways inside a triangle pattern or inside watermark support resistance levels. That is same as what is happening to the market indices. When the market as a whole is in a sideways range, it is expected many stocks are also in a sideways range. And many of these stocks are at memory support, not unlike SPY, DIA, QQQ, etc. IWM is the only one that has broken below support. All the other ETFs, the three major ETFs, SPY, QQQ, DIA are inside sideways range. That is reflected in all these stocks as well. Only stock that I can see, there is some possibility of having a bounce long trade setup is VSI. Let's check its fundamentals and industry. Is VSI in QH? Yes, it is there. It is optimally valued. We know that already. It has very nice earnings growth also in the last two quarters. Has a short squeeze potential. So in terms of fundamentals, it has several factors in favor of this stock. If we do a peer analysis, clicking this peer button, we can see there are several other stocks also that are optimally valued. They are in specialty stores. How is the industry? Industry is weak. So we are not going to look for a buy opportunity here. We like to buy if the industry is strong or strengthening. Fundamentally, the stock is strong in some way. And technically, there should be a buy setup. Here, a technical buy setup may come if it goes up today or tomorrow. Fundamentally, it is quite strong. But industry currently is weak. If the stock goes up, today or tomorrow, and if the industry strengthens at the same time, that may give us a bounce long opportunity. As I mentioned in the weekly market roundup, you may look for longs only if the market is starting to recover. If the market is going down, it is safer to stay away from buying new stocks, especially non-defensive sector stocks. What VSI does exactly? Let's have a look at that. VSI, VSI. I'm going to delete the PR stocks. Vitamin shop. Okay, so though it is specialty stores, it is not and apparel stores are like that. Therefore, it is in a defensive industry. You can see vitamin shops may be more defensive than non-defensive. From that angle, you may consider buying this stock. If, if it goes up, gives us a bound setup. In a down market, we are allowed to buy, meaning it is safe to buy or safer to buy defensive sector stocks than non-defensive sector stocks. VSI can be one such candidate. Very good fundamentals. We saw that already. Good valuation, increasing earnings growth, short squeeze potential. Let's look at now the headwind signals that came. There were few long headwinds, 12 of them. Some of the stocks are known, very well known, CenturyLink, Cors. In this case, let us look at the technical charts first. I'm going to close the existing chart. I'm going to open the charts using Q default weekly daily template. We could simply double click the symbols to open the chart like this. Let me remove this panel to another monitor. CenturyLink doesn't have any buy opportunity. I could double click on the next symbol to open it, but the easier way to do this, that is to go through the result of a scan, is to look for the results from Explore, Explorer in Metastock. 
look for long headwind reports. Mm. Maybe I have to open them one by one. Okay, let me open them one by one. This is CRI. There is no bullish headwind trade setup. What is the bullish headwind trade setup? It is a reversal trade setup. It relies on the bullish headwind signal that comes at the end of a downtrend, possible reversal signal, but the headwind in itself is not enough to take the long trade. It has to meet the checklist conditions. What are the other conditions in the checklist? Apart from the necessity of having a bullish headwind signal, that is in the weekly chart, we should have a yellow color candle, that is neutral color candle, backdrop color neutral yellow, or the shape has to be bullish, and acceleration, that is the first dot, top dot in this movement indicator has to be green. And the candle shape in the daily chart has to be bullish and the reward risk has to be acceptable. Because this setup comes after a downtrend, usually we'll have good reward risk ratio unless there is a nearby memory resistance line. In this case, there is no nearby memory resistance. However, the weekly condition is not met weekly candle color is not yellow, weekly candle shape is also not bullish. Also the daily candle shape is not bullish, it is mixed. It is hollow in body but has an upper tail, therefore it doesn't meet the checklist conditions. That is how we apply the checklist in our mind. Takes a long time to articulate it but takes only two seconds to decide if there is a setup and I will go through the rest of the stocks very quickly. I will stop if I see there is a possible bullish headwind trade setup. This is CATO. There is no trade setup because memory resistance is very nearby. CVCO weekly is not bullish. CenturyLink CTL weekly is not bullish. DBD weekly not bullish or neutral, FF, weekly not bullish in shape, not neutral in color, GTL, weekly very bearish, LXU, weekly not giving us a signal to take headwind long, course, weekly is neutral here, daily has a bullish headwind, however there is a memory resistance nearby that doesn't allow us to take the bullish headwind trade. Shutterfly. This is interesting, however, the daily shape is not bullish. There is very clear unambiguous checklist requirement. Unless all those requirements are met, we are not going to risk our money. We don't say there is a trade setup and the requirement of having a bullish shape candle in the daily is not met. So we are not in a hurry we are not going to take a long trade here. TGI, weekly, not matching the condition. Last stock, UFI, weekly, very bearish. So we had several bullish headwind signals, but no bullish headwind trade setup. How to use it? If you had a short position in any of these stocks, you may book profit, at least partial profit. You will probably have good profit by now. You will book at least partial profit and apply trailing stop to protect profit in the remaining position. Let me close all these stocks. We didn't find any bullish headwind trade setup. What about the bearish headwind signals? We ran that scan also. That is short headwind. We have few stocks. Let's look at them one by one. We'll apply the checklist again. And now the checklist is reversed. We should have a bearish headwind, like we can see at the top in the daily chart. We should have bearish shape candle in the daily. That is not true in this case. And weekly candle shape has to be bearish or color has to be at least neutral. So this is not matching the condition. There is a bearish headwind signal. So if we are having a long position, we'll be cautious and apply trailing stop, but there is no short opportunity. Next, CMS weekly doesn't meet the requirement. 
no short trade setup here ed weekly daily none of the candle shapes allow us to take the trade that is console next one etr again the weekly color shape doesn't allow nsa weekly color shape doesn't allow us to take the short ni weekly color shape doesn't allow us to take the shot and um the last one weekly color and shape doesn't allow us to take the shot so if we ran the bullish headwind scan bearish headwind scan we didn't find any trade setup that's fine from breakouts we could find some trade setup that is how we carry out the bottom up analysis running scans and going through the stocks quickly i prefer to look at the fundamentals first and reduce the list size before looking at the technical charts of course it is perfectly okay to look at the technical charts first and then look at the fundamentals and industry let me try to carry out a top down analysis now that is what i do in the weekly market roundups also so let me use the insights let me go to the worst performing growth stocks market is bearish the indices are in sideways range however internals are weak overall it is in downtrend over longer period so it is bearish overall growth stocks go up fast and come down equally fast so if we have a trade setup here we may look to short it worst performing growth stocks of friday let's look at them using technical charts i'm going to change the technical trading system to q elite so that i can get these symbols to trade station by clicking the chart icon go to trade station and drop the symbols here did i drop the right symbol let me check this stocks click the chart button this is the correct symbol i didn't copy it properly in it you can see all of them dropped significantly let me start from the top again aaoi it sorted by the symbol aaoi already dropped a lot so we are not going to look for short now adobe had a huge drop on friday this is looking weak on the daily chart in fact using the daily weekly together it has given us a trend following go with flow short trade setup weekly color is magenta shape is also bearish in the daily it went up came down went up again and then went down so we have lower high lower low we have a magenta color candle so we can take a shot at the close of friday stop just above recent high and try to book initial profit at the memory support line gives us reasonable reward risk ratio you may keep an eye on this stock for a shorting opportunity it could be shorted on friday looking at the charts today if you are using fine tune chart you may look for a low risk short entry opportunity what about the industry and fundamentals let's look at those it's a high growth stock that we know we have to see if there is some weakness in fundamentals we can go to our inside adobe click on the binocular to check the industry strength or weakness application software industry is weakening the weakness is shown from the magenta color over one day's score and also from the pace one day and two days columns that is showing the deceleration so it allows us to short what about the stock adobe adbe here it has good valuation earnings growth is also quite good so fundamentally it is not a weak stock if we are following 360 degrees approach we would like to short a weak stock and we found one such stock earlier where 
valuation was overvalued, earnings growth was negative, industry was weak, technically it was weak. And now we find another stock, industry is weak, technicals are weak, but fundamentals are not weak. We would rather short the stock that we found earlier, not this one. That was the stock we found that was breaking down below support. So let's keep Adobe. Technically, it is allows, allowing us to short, but fundamentals are pretty strong. In a weak market, strong fundamental stocks can also drop. However, weak fundamental stocks drop faster. So if we are risking our money, we may risk it on the ones that have higher chance of success and bigger profit probability. That would be the other stock that was breaking down below support, not Adobe. What about other few stocks we saw in it? All these are high growth stocks that are dropping sharply on Friday. This has cleared memory support on Friday. In fact, this is similar to the other short opportunity we found on Thursday. That stock was also just above memory support. So we were not able to short it on Thursday. If you were watching Anet on Friday at open, you would notice that it cleared memory support and you could short it using fine tune chart. Now, if you think that the stop loss is not that far away, you could consider shorting it. But personally, I prefer to short it at the opportune time because we are looking at the systems regularly. Why not short it on Friday near market open? Now the profit is slightly less than from Friday's open. The risk is slightly more. Still possible to short it probably, but I would have preferred to short it on Friday near market open. Let's look at the remaining few stocks, CTRL. Already down quite a bit, there is no nearby short. By the way, for NA, technically it is looking weak. Let's look at the fundamentals and industry strength. We go back to QH inside. A net, A N E T. Where is A N E T? A net. Let's look at its industry. Is weakening, shown from pace column as well as one day score, allows us to short. And in terms of fundamentals, it is overvalued, so we are allowed to short it. It's a 360 degrees analysis shorting opportunity. You can clearly see the difference between this and Adobe. Adobe also had good earnings like this stock. However, Adobe was optimally valued and this is overvalued. This stock is expected to have good earnings because we found it from the list of growth stocks coming down. So this is expected to have good earnings growth, but it allows us to short because it is overvalued. Next stock. HQY already down quite a lot. In fact, looking back, you can see clearly there was a very nice, very easy to identify, go with flow short trade opportunity on this magenta candle. Not now, it is already down a lot. Next stock, KOP, already down a lot. We are not going to short it. LMAT. It was kind of moving sideways, overall in downtrade, but moving sideways. Now it is breaking down. This is not a standard Q short trade setup because price is already near the lower boundary. If you are having long position, you have every reason to be careful. Next stock, MGLN. doesn't have any short opportunity. The daily color is neutral. Next, PRAH. Daily candle shape is mixed. Also, there is memory support nearby. No short opportunity. And last stock, WD. This is a possible go with flow short trade opportunity in the daily chart. If the market is continuing to go down, I think this will go down enough to give us reasonable profit relative to the risk. Though it is 
not that far from the lower boundary level looking at the weakness of the market it may be okay to short it provided market is going down today and we have to check its fundamentals and technicals fundamentals and industry rotation to see if we have weakness there let's check that out wd start from inside wd look at its industry first industry is actually not weakening it is staying the same for quite a long time or you can say slightly improving so we are not happy to short in such an industry looking at that i will skip i will not think of shorting it i will not even need to look at fundamentals but for the sake of completeness let us look at wd's fundamentals it is in fact optimally valued that is another reason we are not going to short it in this way we are trying to align forces from all the levels industry level fundamental level and technical level and with a few more mouse clicks we are able to find trade setups where all the forces are aligned we are not in a hurry to risk our money in other trade setups it's 859 Eastern Standard Time. Let's look at the futures before closing. E mini, S and P 500. In the market roundup, I mentioned that the indices, ETFs, and therefore the futures were in a sideways range. SPY and S and P 500 future was also in sideways range. However, I said that because of the internal weakness. It is not good time to buy. And now we can see today's candle shape is so far bearish. If you remember last Monday morning meeting when we looked at futures at that time, one Monday ago, we saw the futures candles were indecisive, but not true today. Today the candle is so far bearish. Price opened here try to go up hit the memory support lines that may be turning into resistance now and then fail so so far it is bearish the bearishness is seen from the weekly chart also again it tried to go up hit the memory support that may be turning into resistance now nasdaq futures in q Again, the candle shape so far is bearish. S&P 500 had gone below memory support. NQ has not gone below memory support yet. It was the stronger of the two. So it is expected to take longer for NQ to go below memory support. What about Dow Jones? That is YM. Dow Jones futures. It is clearly below the memory support, which may be turning into resistance, both in weekly and daily. And therefore we can expect the Russell 2000 to be clearly below, below support. There was no support, support was broken already more than two weeks ago, two weeks ago. And today's candle is bearish. So, so far the futures are looking bearish. What we see in pre-market hours may change sometimes but currently we have no reason to think of taking new long trades that is all we are trying to keep this session to one hour so people have time to get ready for the market we don't find many buying opportunities there are plenty of shorting opportunities technically you may also take those shots where fundamentals are weak and industries also i don't know if we looked at this or give me one more minute in fact i ran some scans we couldn't go through all the scan results and amed this was looking weak to me in the weekly chart it has displayed a bearish headwind the weekly candle shape and color are bearish magenta color and upper tail solid body everything is bearish in the weekly chart has a bearish headwind in fact it has created a false upside breakout activity was high for two successive weeks while 
it created the false upside breakout in the daily there was a bearish headwind price tried to go above that however it has created a false upside breakout came below the watermark created by the bearish headwind friday's candle shape color both are bearish we had the magenta color candle on thursday but we would not think of shorting because of the memory support line now that memory support is clear if you were watching it you could short it on friday at market open what about its fundamentals and technicals it will take us one more minute to check that out a m e d instantly we know it is overvalued stock we are happy to short it what about its industry we can do a peer analysis that will show the industry is also weak so we have plenty of stocks like this now in the current market situation where technically we have low risk short opportunity industry is weak fundamentals are weak no reason to look for shorts in which all the three forces are not aligned you will find plenty of shorts you will probably find it difficult to get good long setups that is all i plan to share in today's session thank you for joining i look forward to seeing you in our next session have a great week and trade profitably thank you